You can't tell if she's happy or sad. You can't conclude whether she's turning towards you or away from you. These curiosities will keep you coming back to this portrait. What if the subject of this portrait is not just a girl, but a relationship instead? What if the way she looks reflects the way she feels about him? How could we know what the relationship is when we don't even know who the girl is? Keep watching to know about the girl with the pearl earring. Often girl with a pearl earring is referred to as the Mona Lisa of the North. This is partially because of the girl's curious expression and in part because of the mystery surrounding the piece itself. Unlike the Mona Lisa, however, girl with a pearl earring is not a portrait but a trony, a Dutch term for a character or type of person. Vermeer's subject is a generic young woman in exotic dress, a steady in facial expression and costume. This painting has been used on the cover of many art books and you can now even own a painting on your cushion, coaster, t-shirt, bags, socks, suitcases and more. The internet is brimming with the image of the girl, either just as she is or altered for our times. Why is Johannes Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring such a popular painting? Johannes Vermeer was a Dutch Barak period painter who specialized in domestic interior scenes of middle class life. During his lifetime, he was a moderately successful provincial genre painter, recognized in Delft and The Hague. Vermeer worked slowly and with great care, and frequently used very expensive pigments. He is particularly renowned for his masterly treatment and use of light in his work. Almost all his paintings are apparently set in two smallish rooms in his house in Delft. They show the same furniture and decorations in various arrangements and they often portray the same people, mostly women. Girl with a pearl earring represents a young woman in dark shallow space, an intimate setting that draws the viewer's attention exclusively on her. So many have been captivated by the way the girl turns towards the viewer, by her gaze, the colors and the course by the quality of light. Even though the shades of her clothing are enhancing, its material seems to be plain except for the pearl earring. Unlike many of Vermin's subjects, she is not concentrating on any daily chore and unaware of her viewer. Instead caught in a fleeting moment, she turns her head over her shoulder, meeting the viewer's gaze and her eyes wide and lips parted as if about to speak. The work is oil on canvas painting. It is signed Ivy Mere, but not dated. It is estimated to have been painted around 1665. Going by various names over the centuries, it became known by its present title towards the end of the 20th century after the large pearl earring worn by the girl portrayed there. It wasn't always so iconic though. We don't know whom Vermeer first painted it for in 1665-66. to But it ended up in his patron's collection, was then sold by one of his son-in-law and was lost until it was resurfaced 200 years later. When a collector brought it for two guilders, a little less than a dollar, and discovered it was a Vermeer once it had been cleaned. On the collector's death in 1902, it was donated to the Mauritius in The Hague, where it had been hung ever since. Now of course it is priceless, the Mauritius would never sell it. In fact, the last Vermeers to be publicly sold in 2004 went for a $30 million and it is nowhere near as good as the girl with the pearl earring. The work has been the subject of various literary treatments. In 2006, the Dutch public selected it as the most beautiful painting in the Netherlands. After the most recent restoration of the painting in 1994, the subtle color scheme and the intimacy of the girl's gaze towards the viewer has been greatly enhanced. During the restoration, it was discovered that the dark background today, somewhat mottled, was originally a deep enamel-like green. This effect was produced by applying a thin transparent layer of paint, a glaze, over the black background seen now. However, the two organic pigments of the green glaze, indigo and weld, have faded. In 1999, Tracy Chevalier's historical novel, Girl with a Pearl Earring, fictionalized the circumstances of the painting's creation. The novel later inspired the 2003 film. 
the museum later embarked on a two year investigation of the artwork publishing the findings in 2020 using modern imaging techniques to look at the layers beneath the surface researchers uncovered a green curtain behind the girl and confirmed that she has eyelashes though they may be hard to discern researchers also tested vermeer's materials mapping the sources of his pigments They discovered that he liberally used the costly ultramarine, a pigment derived from the semi-precious stone lapis lazuli, found only in what is now Afghanistan for the headscarf. He also used a red pigment derived from an insect living in Mexico and South America for the women's lips. Although Vermeer's girl with the pearl earring is the most famous painting in Mauritius and probably Vermeer's most celebrated work, There are doubts raised about the material of the earring and are argued that it looks more like a polished tin than pearl on the grounds of the specular reflection. The pure shaped and the large size of the earring. When there seems to be an opinion of this kind, how could the name girl with the pearl earring be apt? Well, as one critic rightly explained that this name was given not for the detail of the earring but because the figure glows with an inner radiance against the dark background sadly the technology can only go so far and the identity of the girl with the pearl earring remains a mystery she holds no attributes that might for example identify her as an allegorical figure even her age is not entirely clear but one thing is for sure she has this magical quality of being incredibly open and yet mysterious at the same time